Hey everybody, it's Sharice again, and today I'm going to be making vegan bacon using king oyster mushrooms. And this is what they look like if you've not had them before. And you're going to also need to use maple syrup, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic if you choose, either smoked paprika or you can do paprika and then add a little bit of liquid smoke, which is what I'm going to do, uh, some source of an oil um, to make your marinade. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this recipe. And getting started, I'm going to begin with using six tablespoons of coconut oil. And I already just simply melted it in the microwave. That way it's already in a liquid state. So I'm going to do six of these. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for just a moment. Then I'm going to take my paprika and I'm going to do Together. Okay, I'm just going to see what it tastes like. Okay, it's not bad. I think I'm going to add a little bit more liquid smoke. And I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Just a little bit and that should just about do it all right now I'm going to go ahead and take my mushrooms I've already rinsed them off I'm going to cut off this big cap end now if you're using something else to cook you can always use those and cook with them as well um, but I'm just going to discard those to the side for now so what I have I have several vegetable peelers I'm not going to use my knife to do this portion. So the vegetable peeler I have actually has a smooth edge, no teeth, and that's the one that I'm going to use today. So all you're going to do is take your vegetable peeler and slide it as long as you think you may want your bacon strips to be. Um, if you want thicker pieces of bacon, you may try to find a vegetable peeler that will do that for you or you know it may be called a slicer this one actually comes out uh, pretty well as you can see it, it does definitely have a good um, width to it now that I have all of my bacon pieces uh, sliced up I'm going to go ahead and throw them in a bag just to marinate for about 10 maybe 15 minutes of course, the longer you let them marinate, the stronger the flavor will be. Um, so I put them in here and then I'm just going to stir up my mixture one more time and I'm going to put it inside of the bag with the mushrooms. I'm going to seal up my bag. And I'm going to go ahead and shake it and mix it very well. All right, that looks mixed up pretty well. I'm going to just set this to the side and let that set for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, you're going to go ahead and line a baking sheet with foil or parchment paper. And we're going to be cooking it in the oven on 400. So while you're letting it marinate in the mixture, you want to go ahead and get your oven heating up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. With the foil, if you want, you can just kind of do a light coating of uh, spray, but I don't think it's necessary. But because you do have the maple syrup in it, it does give it a more chance of sticking to the paper. Now it is time to put our bacon strips on the foil. So I'm going to go ahead and lay them out. I think I'll go this way. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and put this pan in the oven and let those cook for at least 15 minutes and then I'll check them. But you just wanna cook them until they actually resemble bacon. Now I'm gonna add uh, some more to my air fryer and we'll see what the difference might be with using the air fryer pan. And it is no surprise to me that my air fryer is cooking a lot quicker than the oven. So they've been cooking for about 10 minutes now. So I told you guys the wrong time frame. And I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. I know you don't have to, but I like to flip them on both sides. So like I said, once you get them cooked to your desired um, amount, they will get a little bit more crispier as they set. But these here are still not quite cooked as long as much as I would like them to be. And I think one of them may be just about done. You have to be careful because you can burn these. I have burned um, a couple of batches before, just just cooking them way too long, not paying attention. So this isn't really a dish that you want to just sit and leave it cooking in your oven. You definitely want to uh, watch it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in. And the way that I know that they're not done to my liking is because the uh, king oyster mushrooms can be kind of, they don't, they're not very um, meaty. Well, they can have like a soft chewy, that's what it is, they have a, the king oyster mushrooms can be kind of chewy. And so that's why you wanna make sure you cook them thoroughly. Alright, so these are coming out. You can see some of the edges are a little burnt. You can just cut them off. And I cooked them a little bit longer because I don't want the center thicker parts to be too gummy. And so that's why some of the edges that are really thin have overcooked a little bit. But like I said, you just cut the pieces that you don't want to eat off and you'll be good. And like I said, as they set, they will or I should say they should get a little bit more crispy as they sit. So the uh, ones that were in my regular oven actually came out ready just a few minutes after the uh, ones in the air fryer. So I guess they cooked about the same amount of time, but I think the air fryer is going to be a little bit crispier than my oven so thanks for tuning in today and this is my king oyster mushroom bacon so i am going to be making a blt sandwich with this bacon and i will definitely show you guys a picture of how i made that all right have a great day